All right, number nine. Here we go. The nine at nine. Uh, number nine. If you're heading to Southern California to check out the annual Super Bloom for the wild poppies, uh, officials there have two words: stay home. The poppies appear across California in, in the uh, spring and the summer, but lots of winter rain means that they've already started to appear in one particular area near Lake Elsinore. Uh, it's now off limits to the public. Back in 2019, pre-pandemic, about 100,000 people turned out in a single weekend, and they trampled the place and caused traffic nightmares, and the town simply doesn't want any of that this time around. So the mayor's issued a statement saying, this weekend, enjoy the Super Bowl and not the Super Bloom the, uh, that we're not even having yet. Hmm. So they haven't bloomed yet, so don't make plans to go. All right, number eight, we want to introduce you to one of the great buzz kills in American history. It's the self-righteous Jerko Anthony Comstock. In 1873, he founded the New York Society for the Suppression of Vice. It seems that uh, Comstock's life mission was to get up in everyone's business so that everything would be moral and public. It started when he served on the good side of the Civil War and was shocked and offended by all the cursing of the soldiers. After the war, he got a job in the U.S. Postal Service where he called himself a weeder in God's garden. He went after anything he thought was obscene and was even able to outlaw anatomy textbooks from being mailed to med students. He didn't want women to vote, tried to shut down theater productions, and put Mae West in jail. When he died in 1915, he left behind a large collection of books he had confiscated, including some pornography. All right, number seven, if your love life is not working, it might be time to check yourself. Relationship scientists say that people are sabotaging their relationships without even realizing it. Here are six things you might be doing. Uh, not apologizing or taking accountability for your actions. Uh, not respecting boundaries, forcing the other person to change or be more like you, having no consideration for your partner's emotional triggers, uh, being indirect about your needs, and comparing your relationship to others. So if you're doing any of this, stop it. Unless you want to break up before Valentine's right. Day, like you say. Right. <laughs> and then if that's the case, turn that all on as yeah. loud as you can to try to get out by Saturday night midnight. Is that otherwise you're stuck for Valentine's yeah. Day? Yeah, you're really screwed. All right, number six. It's fun to tease Gwyneth Paltrow about her website Goop and some of the ridiculously expensive stuff that's on it. But here's something that is Paltrow approved that most women can afford, the number seven sheet masks. Ooh. This is a drugstore brand, originally from the UK. The mask is only $6. Wow. And this thing, they say, has lots of great reviews sure, yeah. from women who say it really works, makes you feel like you have had a salon facial from just a 20 minute drugstore mask. Plus, it comes with ear hooks, oh, I love so you can get hooks. some other stuff done while you wear it. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Gwyneth. Uh, number five, let's talk about the rebel nuns of the Amalfi Coast. Oh. The three nuns had been living in a 13th century convent in the town of Ravello for decades, but in 2021, the Vatican ordered the convent to close due to declining numbers. One of the nuns is 97 years oh, old. Geez. She's refusing to leave. Course, She's been there since 1955. Two other nuns also refused to move. They eventually left, though. Oh. Not before all three were dismissed by the Vatican and expelled from religious life for disobeying the church. Come on. The hope is that the Pope reconsiders reintegrating them into nunhood. This prime real estate is valued at $55 million. So they not only got kicked out of the house, they got kicked out, out of being nuns? Is that right? For not moving? Yeah, listen, they've that's only harsh. been there for about 70 years. Yeah. It's not like it was permanent. Right. right. That's a little rough. And at 97, you kind of like, ah, you know, sooner or later, this thing's going to, will be solved of this problem. And it's a little late to pivot your career. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. you can't easily yeah, do that. That's a hard so, turn. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Well, I'm sure there's more to it than that, somehow or another. All right, number four, uh, the fascinating world of crabs, Larry. Uh, All right. And the <laughs> shell exchange. Uh, check this out from the BBC. As a crab grows, its shell becomes an ever tighter fit. So eventually, a crab needs to move in to a bigger one. Stop around, they just they arrange themselves into an orderly queue. The biggest at the front, smallest at the back. Huh. They're lining up with one aim 
to exchange properties. What's going on here? What the? This looks... After a close inspection, the big crab moves in. <laughs> what is happening here? Look at this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So these guys are just upgrading They're just exchanging their shells. shells. Yeah. Look at that. Look like at that bongo, uh, Congo line they had going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever they want to call it. Huh. Look at that. Just sharing. Yeah. How do you hmm. know? Isn't that really nice? Uh, number three, if you got a ton of cash, you can rent Prince's former estate in Turks and Caicos. It's known as the Umara Estate. It's a 17-bedroom mansion with views of the ocean from every single room. Also, it has a 300-foot purple driveway leading into the property. You can fit around 33 people, and you're probably going to need all 33 of them to split up the tab. It rents for $14,000 a night. Look wow. at how beautiful. Oh, God. Huh. Mm. You see Prince playing tennis? No. He played basketball. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. He was good. <laughs> we learned from Dave Chappelle, right? He was good. All right, number two, if you've been to England, you might have seen these garden walls with a very British name, Crinkle Crankle Walls. Some of people call them wiggly walls. They're built in a snake-like winding shape. And why are they built this way? It's simple. It takes fewer bricks. That's because a Crinkle Crankle Wall can be built one brick wide without toppling over like uh... a straight wall would. The well, waves well. give the arch support. How about that? Look at that. Huh. All right, number one, Dean told us about a new uh, rom-com called At Midnight. One of the stars is Monica Barbaro, who was in the recent Top Gun movie. And it reminded us she got her start in this short that went viral 10 years ago. The man is played by the writer and director Jason Headley. It's called It's Not About the Nail. It's just, there's all this pressure you know? And sometimes it feels like it's right up on me and I can just feel it, like literally feel it in my head and it's relentless and I don't know if it's gonna stop. I mean, that's the thing that scares me the most is that I don't know if it's ever gonna stop. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, you do have a nail in your head it is not about the nail. Are you sure? Because, I mean, I'll bet if we got that out of there. Stop would... trying to fix it. No, I'm not trying to fix it. I'm just pointing out that maybe the nail is causing. You always do this. You always try to fix things when what I really need is for you to just listen. No, see, I don't think that is what you need. I think what you need is to get the nail See, out. you're not even listening now. Okay, fine. I will listen. Fine. It's just, <laughs> sometimes it's like, there's this achy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I'm not sleeping very well at all. And all my sweaters are snagged. I mean, all of them. Yeah, I, that sounds really hard. It is. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Come on, if you would just don't. <laughs> Try to see things my way. Do I have to keep you have to deal with it. Oh, you poor soul. It's the night of nine. Nine, nine, nine.